Hey, what's up guys, KSK here, welcome back to another video. So first of all, sorry for not posting any kind of videos these days. I was on vacation, anyway guys, back to the work. And after returning from the vacation, now I can see the new Pixel Experience ROM for Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro is now live. So if you are looking to transform your Redmi K20 Pro into a Pixel Experience device or the Pixel 4 XL, so then this is the video that you're looking for. So anyway guys, a Pixel Experience ROM is a custom ROM based on Android 10 available for Redmi K20 Pro as well as a Mi 90 Pro provides a completely stock Android experience which you get to see on Pixel smartphones. So you can see the Pixel launcher, you can see the Pixel light wallpapers, you can see all of the Android 10 stock features. So instead of worrying about the stock Mi UI 11, so which is absolutely looks not that great and you're just gonna go ahead install this pixel experience rom on your redmi k20 pro so now let me go to settings and show you the version by going into settings about phone and you can see android version it's actually based on android version 10 if i tap on the android version you can see the android 10 easter egg and I'm going to go back to the main page of the settings here and you can see Google Play System Update is version 10. This is the first initial build guys for the Redmi K20 Pro. It comes with the default immensity kernel. So considering the fact the first initial build, the Pixel Experience ROM is actually running super good on the Redmi K20 Pro thanks to Snapdragon 855. It actually takes an advantage of it. It runs super smooth. You can see everything opens up very snappier compared to the a stock Mi U11. So you can see these gestures are also working super fine. Now talking about the pros, as I told you, so if you want to transform this phone, a Redmi K20 Pro into a Pixel 4 XL, then you should watch the video till the end to know everything about this ROM. So first and foremost, as I told, it comes with a Pixel goodies. So one of them is gonna be the Pixel Launcher. It comes with the latest Pixel Launcher. You can simply swipe up from the bottom to reveal the app drawer. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get to hide any kind of applications option here, so which is sort of bummer. And if you go ahead and swipe up and leave it, you're gonna get to see this app switcher where you can see all of your previously opened applications. And of course, you can see clear all button here, just clear it. To clean up all of the applications in the background just like that now it comes with the styles and wallpapers also simply hold anywhere on the home screen and you can see styles and wallpapers are also available so there are tons of light wallpapers added by the developer into this build one of them is going to be the coming alive these are the dynamic light wallpapers which adopt the scene based on the themes so you can see there are a lot of themes available you can also customize these light wallpapers according to your taste you can see it you can switch the speed of the real time you can also switch to the different plant here which is sort of cool and also there is a one more tab section here it's called a style section so using this section you can customize the style as well as the font as well as the icon pack as well as the colors not an icon pack just like you can customize the look of these toggles the accent colors as well as the shapes, a lot of things you can do it, which is sort of amazing. Now talking about the a notifications panel on the quick tile section, you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to bring up this a quick tile section here, just like that, it's sort of cool. And if I click on the pencil icon, you're gonna get to see a, some other options here, so where you can simply hold it and drag into this main quick tile menu. So unfortunately, Pixel Experience ROM is not a that customized friendly. It offers only limited features compared to Havoc OS and Evolution X, which offers a tons of customizing options. So for the sake of this video, Pixel Experience ROM offers a minimalistic features and a bloatware free, so which would be a super smooth in real time. So now you can see there is one option I'm going to talk about guys here, it's called a sensor soft. So this is a specific Android 10 feature, so which you can get it. This toggle lets you turn off all the sensors on your phone. So for example, you can turn off the camera sensor, you can turn off the microphone, you can turn off the proximity sensor. All the sensors in the background can be turned off with one toggle. 
We know that a Bluetooth as well as the Wi-Fi radios has their own dedicated switches to toggle it, to toggle on, but some of the sensors like the camera sensor, the light sensor, you're not supposed to do turn off all the sensors. But thanks to Android 10, Google done a fantastic job with a one single tap. You can simply turn off all the sensors in the background, which actually preserves the battery life. So for example, enabling this option, after that, if you open the camera, you can see it's not gonna be connected to the camera, which is gonna be the expected thing. So all the sensors like the microphone, the proximity sensor, everything will be temporarily disabled. Now, in order to get this sensors off option, so it's not enabled by default, you need to go to settings, about phone, then tap on the bill number, then go back to the main page of settings, then click on system, advanced developer options, then scroll a little while, then you get to see this quick settings developer option here. Make sure you enable this option. Then go back here, click on the pencil icon. You're gonna get CC somewhere here. Just gonna go ahead, drag it out there and you can use it option. So this is amazing feature guys, sensor soft. I really, really like about the Android thing. So compared to iOS, you are not supposed to customize it, which is sort of bummer. Now it's time to talk about the stock camera. It doesn't come with a Google camera, so it comes with a standard AOSP camera, so which is sort of minimal. So let me go ahead and turn off this sensors of option here, and then you can see the default camera. It works, the front camera also works fine. There are no issues at all. Everything works super fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go back here and you can also take the video. You can see there are a lot of options available. So again, this is the stock AOSP camera, which is not that great. Um, if you talk about the uh, settings here, so you can see this ROM comes with a few options. You're not supposed to customize everything according to your taste. Even if you go to display, you're gonna get the dark mode, but still there is a no accent colors option available. So let me go ahead and talk about the dark mode. You can turn on the dark mode or turn on the dark mode from here. You can also turn it on or turn off from also here. So as I told you in the beginning of this video, these light wallpapers are dynamic wallpapers. If I go ahead and turn on the dark mode, you can see it's gonna automatically change the look and feel of the wallpaper, which is sort of amazing. Let me go ahead and turn off the dark mode. Again, you can see it looks incredible. So now back to settings again. So you can see there are no advanced options here. So that only lets you customize more. And one thing I wanna talk about in settings. So many of you guys are asking about the face unlock option in Android 10. Well, let me give a, some clarity about this thing. So if you go to security and if you have set the pin or password and there is a smart lock option will be enabled and using the smart lock you can use a trusted faces option to uh, trigger the front camera and unlock your phone. So we have seen the Poco Phone F1 is having the IR cameras which actually uh, unlocks the phone even in extreme dark conditions which is amazing thing. So but thanks to Android 10 Google has removed this option for some reason. Uh, this is not even a complete feature. It's a part of the Google Play services. Uh, for some reason, all of the Android 10 ROMs may not gonna come with the a trusted face unlock option, which is sort of bummer. And I heard some are saying that it's because Google is actually working for the real face unlock option for future versions of Android and Google Pixel devices. So that could be the reason guys, for now with Android 10 ROMs, you're not gonna supposed to see that face unlock option, it's gone forever. Now if I go back to the settings here, and I uh, can see safety net check test, if I go ahead and run this, you can see it's actually passed it without any kind of magisk or root. As you can see, I don't have any kind of magisk or root installed and you can see it's actually passed the test. What does it mean? So if the safety net status is set to be if passed, that means your phone is fully secured. If you go to Play Store, and if you search for any kind of application like Netflix, let's gonna go ahead and search for Netflix. And you can see Netflix is available. So that means this ROM is not tempered. So these kind of trusted applications like Netflix will not gonna work if the ROM gets tempered. Also, Google Pay will work without any issues. So that means you are free to use all the UPI based applications, which is amazing. So these are the, some of the features that you can get 
uh, in Pixel Experience ROM running on the Redmi K20 Pro. Now it's time to talk about the navigation gestures in Android 10, especially the Pixel Experience ROM. And if you go to settings, system, gestures, then you're gonna get this new option called the gesture navigation. You can control the uh, speed of the sensitivity, so you can simply swipe up just like that to go to the home screen, sort of like iPhone gestures. And just like that, if you swipe up and hold for a second, that actually reveals the app switcher. You can swipe up all the way to see this clear all option. Just tap on it to clear all the applications in the background. Now, one thing I really like about these navigation gestures are, check this out. So if I swipe down left or right, adjust like that, it actually quickly lets you jump between multiple applications with amazing speed. So these navigation gestures are super smooth like other ROMs. It does handle its job. Now, this ROM, uh, when it comes to performance and day-to-day -day usage, uh, it's an initial build, guys, by the time of recording this video. It's a first build for the Redmi K20 Pro, so I can see the performance is actually up to the mark. Uh, it's not any kind of a beta or any kind of thing. Uh, everything opens up super snappy. It's more secure. You can install, you can run the UPI applications, safety net check test passed. Everything is superb and hopefully in the future versions of this build may get more features as well as more improvements and enhancements. Now it's time to talk about the icons of this ROM. So by the time of recording this video, as I told you guys, the first initial build. Now whatever the cons that I will be telling in a moment will be fixed in future builds. So that means it's not a persistent anymore. So first one, the operator video calling. So if you are using the a carrier services to make a video call, you're not gonna be able to do it for some reason. And the number two is a lot of issues with the fingerprint sensor. We know that a K20 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro is having uh, issues uh, with the in-display fingerprint sensor. It's not that fast. And that's why K30 actually switched to the here, you can see. Anyway guys, in display fingerprint sensor, you can see I'm trying to uh, register it, it's not working. It does record, but I don't know, there we go, you can see you have to do a lot of efforts here. So anyway, uh, it's not working, sort of, at this point of time, and which is sort of bummer again, feature builds, you can see that will be fixed. Number three, some users are reporting screen of death. So if you have turned off your phone and if you're on a call and the proximity sensor will not gonna be work and the phone display will go to black, completely pitch black. And in order to access your phone, you have to restart that phone, so which is actually a bother. For me, I have never experienced such a thing. I have previously experienced this kind of a thing in Evolution X but never ever on the Pixel Experience ROM. But some users are complaining about this feature. A part of that, I didn't encounter any kind of bugs here. So if you find any bugs, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Again, if you want to install this ROM onto your Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro, so I have written a step-by-step -step article with all of the installation instructions. Just gonna go ahead and click the article down below and install it. So this is a, one of the good ROMs, guys. The best ROM with minimal features, all the pixel goodies, with the beautiful live wallpapers, dark theme. I mean, you're not gonna get this on Mi U11. Of course, it's a bloatware free. So if you want inside, guys, again, check the link in the description box down below. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you like this video. So if you do, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button down there and also subscribe for more content uh, and click on the bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been KSK Royal. Peace out.